Leslie, uh, thanks a lot for joining me today. Where did you go to perform there? Well, whenever I was in Blue Jar, we went to MEI in Italy and played. We went to Denmark and toured with Go Global with Peter Gabriel. Um, we did quite a lot of music festivals in England. And we went to Spain, Marbella Film Festival, and stayed at the same hotel as the Beckham stay at, which was great. <laughs> That's cool. And uh, how was your experience in Cyprus? Have you performed here? I've been in Cyprus for 15 years. The last 14 years were in Paphos. And yes, I was playing six nights a week in all the hotels. Lots and lots of weddings, lots of pubs, lots of different bands. Yes, it was very interesting. But I prefer North of Cyprus. And I've only been here six months and I play in an Irish band. I have a duo with Naeem and I play in Chill Factor. All three different types of music entirely, which is great. Oh, that's cool. And why do you prefer Northern side? But well, what is different here? Look at the sea. <laughs> Look at the mountains. The people are so much nicer and friendlier up here. It's just, it feels like home. It's great. I love it. That's great, and um, you, know, you mentioned about uh, Irish bands, so you're currently active there in a uh, specific band. Yes, it's one of the reasons that I came up here. It was all very coincidental that I was put in touch with a man from Northern Ireland. We hit it off immediately, played together immediately, within three weeks of the first phone call, I think it was, and it just worked so well. And what are the most common places that you usually perform? Like, uh, for example, in pubs or restaurants, cafe, or even in the street, you had chance to do that. Well, with Chill Factor, we have played in lots of different pubs. And we have a residency in a restaurant. And it's really laid back. Jazzy swing, improvising, it's laid back music. So it's perfect for eating. With the Irish band, we have played in the rowdiest pubs with full houses every time, which is great. And Naeem and I are just about to do our first gig together on the 6th of March, but that will be hotels. On my own, I have played in restaurants and pubs and hotels. That's so cool. And how do you prepare yourself before your performance in general? How do you calm yourself? Or it's not even necessary after all these years you can play. get nervous. I might get nervous if I knew there was going to be loads and loads and loads of people there, but no, I don't get nervous before a gig. If I'm prepared, I don't get nervous, so I don't need to camp myself. In fact, I don't really want to be too camp. <laughs> so you're a professional musician, so that comes naturally, as I understand. Yes, I would hope so. For example? I have been doing this nearly 40 years, so I wow. would hope that I wouldn't get nervous. <laughs> That's so cool. But uh, even from the beginning you were like this or uh, from the first time you were performing in public? No, I didn't get nervous. I think I got a bit more nervous maybe 15 years later whenever I was a bit more aware of the stress and a bit more aware that if you mess up you can get sucked. But no, I didn't get nervous. So about girls in Belfast, you said something. Would you share with the audience as well? Well, Irish girls have the reputation of being beautiful, but I do think that's mainly in the films. And in Belfast, it's not quite the same at all. And I got so surprised after being in Cyprus, for maybe eight years without going home, that I was shocked at how old, grey, sad, depressed everybody looks. It's completely different in Cyprus. People look younger, longer. But relatively, is it correct to say we have more redhead uh, girls in, for example, Ireland, comparing to other countries? Because those guys who are into it, maybe they like their exact because of this reason. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it's like compared to other countries, but I don't know that you get any more. In a classroom, there was one out of class that would have had red hair. But maybe I'm just in the wrong part of Ireland again. I see. And what would you say uh, the difference between, for example, Irish culture and English culture? 
because there, of course there's quite different and also each city in England is different even but in general do you see in any significant one? It's just different. It's hard to put your finger on it. And you know you're in Ireland whenever you're in Ireland as opposed to England. It just feels different. The people are different. People are friendlier. But that's a big stereotype there. It just feels different. I see. And what about Irish dance? What do you think about it? I have never done Irish dancing. No. <laughs> But I do really? play river dance, and I've had Irish dancers play with me when I play river dance. And considering the time the signature changes every bar, I have no idea how to dance to it. That is my knowledge of Irish dancing. <laughs> so you had experience performing with dancers, like yes. uh, so. How was uh, that experience? How the crowd would react to it? Well, everybody loves Irish dance. Everybody loves watching Irish dancing, while they're listening to Irish music, especially as river dance is the big song that. Irish dancing to the public. So don't you think it's a little distracting for those who want to listen to your mu music exactly and they are focusing on the dance instead of that? That part, you never thought of it? No, does it not make it into more of a show? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see the big picture there, like uh, the audience are entertained, that's the most important. Yes. That's great. And uh, how about Irish accent? What do you think about it? How people react to it? Well, there's an awful lot of different Irish accents. And in Northern Ireland in particular, Belfast is 30 miles away from Ballymena, and we can't understand people from Ballymena. <laughs> I see. Yeah, there's a lot of accents that are very hard to understand. So, for example, uh, for, to say Ireland, how do you pronounce it? Like, Ireland? Or... Oh, you mean Northern Ireland? Yes. Yeah, Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. And uh, is it correct that they say Irish people cares a lot? Irish people? Cares a lot. Absolutely, definitely, yes. <laughs> and I have been very good in this interview. <laughs> I'm going to have to make up for it tonight. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I shock all my friends here about how much I swear. But it's just what you do in Northern Ireland. Why is that, do you think? It's just part of the dialect. I see. So people also are frank, right? Just straightforward. Straight talking, yes. Yeah, that's great. Actually, I really appreciate that. And um, so you said you already performed with uh, dancers. Yes. And uh, have you done it on a big stage before? Like. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah, I've done a proper big show. Yeah. Like every dance, yeah. Uh, so can you tell us more about where did you do that and how was your experience? I've done it a few. I've done it a few times in England and in Ireland, especially for weddings. Whenever they have lots and lots of money and they want a, a spectacle, yeah. But my biggest show ever was whenever I was playing the string quartet, because that's my main love. And we were playing in botanic gardens, being televised for a big opera thing, and there was five thousand people there in front of us, and it was being te televised live to another 150,000. I was nervous that day. I see. And uh, we have a challenge on our page named Crazy Eyebrow. We try to lift one eyebrow up and keep one down. Can you do that? No. No? No, no. way. <laughs> I just know I can't. So can you do something similar maybe with your face, facial expression that's interesting? No. No. But I can't do strange things with my hands. Uh. <laughs> Oh my god. Is that strange enough? <laughs> yes, that's great. Good for uh, horror movies also. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Leslie, would you tell me about uh, your experiences in Cyprus, especially related to music industry? Since I came up to the north, the talent is much better than in the south, because in the south it's mainly karaoke bands, tribute acts and yeah the standards are very good i have met such brilliant musicians up here and the best place to go for music would be the soloist and um, live rock bands and there's a brilliant live rock band that plays at sardinia called blue tears and there's so many more live 
musicians because backing tracks you're really quite frowned on up here which makes me rather worried about my solo act because Berlin has to have backing tracks but honestly the talent up here is really good oh, that's good to hear because you know Cy North Cyprus has a very small community that's why it's very great to hear that uh, they are active in this yeah and Cypriots in particular seem to be very talented to a higher standard Oh, that's good to hear. And by the way, how good are you with improvising? Well, it's completely new to me. And whenever I play with the Chill Factor, I'm doing improvising every night. And every gig, I enjoy it so much because I have no idea what the next song is going to be, whether I'm going to know the song, whether I'm going to be told what key it's in, and I just have to get on with it. And he says, take a solo, and I just have to. Thrown in completely at the deep end, but I'm loving it. So, Leslie, would you please uh, tell me about Irish culture? What are your dislikes and likes about Irish culture? Well, I don't miss not living in Ireland. I was there last summer and miraculously it was in a heat wave because in Ireland, if it's not raining, it's about to rain, but it didn't rain. It was lovely. I miss some of the food that you just can't get here. Um, Irish culture. Which food particularly? Well, there's certain breads that you can only get in Northern Ireland and you can't get them in England either. And one is called Veda and I miss it. It's a malt bread and it's just spectacular. I don't miss the weather. <laughs> and I wasn't brought up in a particularly Irish culture because I came from Belfast and it's a big city and so I don't really miss the culture either. But it is lovely playing in an Irish band. So is there uh, any significant difference between culture in your city and, for example, Dublin, if you want to compare? It? Oh, it's very different. Belfast and Dublin are not similar. And if you walk into any pub in Dublin, you'll hear Irish music. It's very hard to get Irish music in Belfast. You have to look up to see which particular pub that weekend is going to play. I wouldn't say that Belfast would be steeped in Irish culture at all. So thank you so much, Leslie, for joining me today. Is there something you would to, you would like to add to the viewers? No, apart from everybody should come to Northern Cyprus. It is beautiful. Thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you for your time. See you. Bye for now. Bye bye.